Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of OCRP. Uh, we're going to do a Sheriff Patrol in the nice Taurus. I love the Taurus, it's a very slick looking vehicle. Um, we have some new things that I installed, but one new thing and it's thanks to Olivia. She helped Archive fix it and stuff, but it's the um, the tyre screech mod. It sounds really cool. It's um, I thought this is probably the best place just to show you how it works and stuff. And it, it kind of sounds like ABS and stuff, like it's... Like it's really... It's really cool, so yeah, we're 10-8, so let's go and get into it, guys. For now on. Alright, guys, we got attached to a call, something about a yellow drift tamper. Reckless driving, no postal. It's around the sandy area, so we'll go ahead and investigate that, see if we can find it at all. Yellow Guardian. This is a yellow drift tamper, though, that we're after. County three twenty. Three twenty, go ahead. I'm going to be at Panorama Drive and Joshua with a flag down by a civilian. Hey, officer. 10 4. Uh, How's it going, sir? Just got that 911 call. I'll attach you. Uh, it's going alright. I just want to let you know there's some, some kid racing around here in one of those drift Tampas. he been slinging it all over town for like the last 10 minutes. Almost yeah. hit me as I was leaving. I, town. I, I hear you, dude. I was just coming down here to actually check that out. So thanks for, thanks for telling me about it, dude. You didn't happen to see where yep, it last was? No problem. Uh, last time I saw him, he was heading down towards the uh, fire department right there. All right, I appreciate your help, sir. I um, mean, have a safe night. If you can't, if you see him again, just contact nine one one. Okay. I will do that. Thank you. All right, have a safe one. All right. County three twenty. Three twenty. I'm going to require times two additional units East Joshua and Panorama Drive for a TC. There's going to be a bus, a yellow drift tamper, and it looks like a black buffalo already on scene. You can get 1071 staging as well. 10 4 3 20, stand by on the additional. Deputy, really quick, I think the driver of that bus over there. I uh, was heavily injured and now is not responding. All right, just hang on, sir. I'm going to grab my med kit, okay? Thank you, deputy. I Man, I tried. He has no pulse. I just checked for his pulse. He has none. Alright, guys. What, what happened here? I just rolled up on it and the bus was on the side and I came to check him. He was talking for a second. Now he has no pulse. Sir, can you hear me? I'm going to try to see if I can open up this door and jump down there. 320, I need a 1071 here and right now. Copy, and I require more units. I'm going to try to pry this door open. It's going to be kind of difficult on a unit available at the Copy. Alright. 177320, where do you want me? I just need help. I got one unconscious. I've got a reckless driver who's in the drift tamper, and yeah, there's a bit going on. Alright, man, I'm down here with them. 
All right, we need to get him out. He hasn't got a pulse. I'll just signal 43 Charles to assist. All right, let me see if I can pull him out. Can one of you guys come up here and help me pull? I'll, I'll kind of lift him up to you. 10 4. Justin, we're gonna drag him out so of here. He's got, no, he's got no pulse at all. Sorry, man. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to pass him up to you. Ready? Yeah, let's get him. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, there you go. Here, go ahead and uh. Let's hand him down to us. Yeah, let's pass him down slowly. Right. One, I'm gonna slide him down. One, two, three. There you go. There you go. All right, we got him. All right, let's just right, drag, let's him, drag him. him. Yeah, where do you want to put him? Let's put him behind the drift in front of my car. Yeah, it's probably a safe spot. Open carry. That's interesting. All right, let's see him down here. Yeah, Justin, he has no Did you, uh, pulse. grab his weapon? Uh, no, I haven't yet. I've only just figured out he had a weapon when we got him out. Did you say there was somebody in the Drift Tampa? Uh, I, I was originally called down here for the Drift Tampa for reckless driving and all that, and then I saw this massive accident here, so I'm not sure what's happened, but there's a black buffalo down the road, the Drift Tampa's there, and then the bus is on its side. So I'm not sure exactly what happened. Okay. You want me to send the highway down that way? Yeah, if you can figure out and establish which one is the drift tamper, maybe, driver. Seven, four, three, ten, nine, seven. Hey, can you head down and check out the buffalo down the road? Apparently it's involved somehow. Alright, thanks. I found a badge here, five, ten, it's... This is an off-duty cop. Alright, do you want to load them in the back of my Explorer? I'll run down to the hospital. Yeah, I've got a faint pulse now, so you probably, now's probably the best time to move him. Alright. You hand lifting him to your car? Yes, please, sir. Uh, no problem, man. Alright, let's lift him. Yep, I'm ready. Alright, let's let's move him. Alright, let's put him in. You gonna be right with him, oh, Justin? There you go. Yeah. Alright, thanks for the backup, dude. Alright, I'll be back. Sir, come over and have a chat with me, please. Yep, no problem. Now, which car is yours, sir? 519, I'll be 1097. Uh, the yellow Tampa right here is mine. Okay, can you tell me how the bus ended up on its side like that? Uh, I'm not sure. There's there's a vehicle up in front of me. There's a black car. He was here first. I was just coming down, uh, coming down Joshua here. I saw him pulled over, and cars are coming awfully close to his car. So I just parked my car trying to block them. So it already happened. I, I ran over there and the driver was talking a little bit. Um, the other guy was on the phone to 911, and then he just kind of passed out and then lost uh, lost his pulse. I looked for his pulse, and then you guys rolled up. Okay, so you didn't actually see how the bus ended up on its side at all, then? No, I was. I came after. I was actually coming the other way. I was uh, on East Joshua, going towards Harmony, and I spun around. But no, I didn't see anything, man. All right, sir. Um, now, my original call to come down here was about a yellow drift tamper. Um, apparently, you were reckless driving, sir. So, um, do you, would you know anything about that? Uh, the only reckless driving I, could, I honestly admit to that I did was I, I pulled, like I was probably going 30, 40, and I pulled a U-turn, like I drifted a U-turn around here. Okay, you got your license, registration, and all that on you, sir? Proof of insurance? Uh, yep, here it is, man. It says in my pocket. Let me grab it. Here it is. And we've got a 1031 in progress. Uh, it says Danny Black on there. Maybe a bit smudged. Alright, Mr. Black, just hang out. I'll be back with you, okay? Yeah, no problem, man. 
Did you say the guy regained consciousness? Uh, yeah, the officer had a light pulse. Just hang out here, I'll be back with you. Alright, man. Pursuit in the city. He has some charges, but he's helped out a guy that was unconscious and shit, and I'm... Um, it's a little bit... yeah, that's all valid. Alright, Mr. Black, here's your information back. Um, you do need to update your driver. Oh, you do need to update your vehicle history, though, because it says that the Tampa's red, okay? It's clearly yellow, so you just need to update that in the DMV, okay? Ah, oh, shoot, man, I guess it's an update. I got it painted the other day. Yeah. But um, I really appreciate what you did for the um, off-duty officer and all that, sir. So I'm not going to give you a citation or anything because I've had a few calls about you, but um, I'm not going to do too much about it. I just need you to start driving sensibly, okay? I appreciate it, man. Glad he's going to be okay. Yeah, just hang out here. Once I chat up to the other party, you should be free to go. Just hang out, though, for a sec. No problem. Yeah, the channel said I can't even call for a 1070. Hey, Trooper. Hey, what's going on? Uh, not a lot. Um, sir, can I have your name, please? Are you there, sir? Uh, I'm sorry, are you talking to me? Yes, sir. I need your name, please, or your driver's license, or some bit of part of ID. Oh, yeah, definitely. There it is. Alright, can you confirm the name on that, please, sir? Yes, yeah, sir, it's Tom Lara. Okay. Oh, Mr. Lara, it's you again. We, we met earlier. Um, now, did you happen to see what happened yeah. with the bus, sir? Did you see it crash? Yeah, no, I didn't see what happened. I was just driving by. Uh, I came from the gas station, and I was going to go panorama, but I saw the bus just flipped over in the middle of East Road, Joshua Road. All right, sir, and what did you notice when you got on scene? Was the yellow drift tamper already here, sir, or were you first here? No, I was first here. He wasn't here. Uh, the first thing that I did, I just parked my car like in front of the bus, and I jumped out of the car, and I ran to passenger window, I'm sorry, to the driver window, and I I was just trying to look if the driver was uh, conscious. He was actually responsive, but then he stopped answering. Okay, sir. Um, I'd just like to say I really appreciate what you did for the, um, the person in the bus. He was an off-duty cop, actually, so you probably saved his life with the other um, gentleman over there, so um, really good job to you guys, okay? All right. Uh, yeah, I'm just being human here. I saw someone injured and I just stopped by helping. All right, sir. Um, I appreciate your cooperation and your statement. Um, uh, th that finishes up my paperwork pretty much. Um, you're free to go, um, but yeah, thanks for everything you did, sir. All right. I hope that uh, off duty cop uh, gets better then. I'll we'll just keep going. All right, sir. Have a good day. Um, all right, Jonathan. Officers, stay safe out there. Take care. Thank you, Trooper. <laughs> We're gonna need a big tow truck for that thing. Yeah, uh, Yeah, we're gonna need a wrecker for this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna go and let Mr. Black know that he's free to pull off and then we'll just get a 1070 for this thing. Alright, sounds good. County 320. We're going to need a heavy 1070 for that bus that's TC'd on Joshua Road. Alright, Mr. Black, you're free to go, sir. Thanks for your cooperation. Uh, no problem, man. Glad he's okay. Alright, I got 510 to the hospital. Copy. Nice, good job. Um, we're just getting the bus taken out of here by county in a couple of minutes. 
Yeah. I appreciate everyone's help though. Yeah, but, um, if either of you want to take off, you can. I've, I've only got to tow this bus. That's all that's left to do. Of course, everything explodes. Well, I heard a 1031 in the process of this, and I was thinking, geez, we're already stretched. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> when I got down to the hospital, an LSPD came down. He goes, "What are you doing down here?" I was like, "Oh, I ran a uh, off-duty officer down to the hospital." He goes, "Oh." He's like, "I thought you were down here for some reason." It's like, "Yeah, we're running all over the place." Yeah, when I logged on, I only saw you were the only sheriff. So I was like, "I'll go, sheriff." You just like driving that Taurus. Yeah, it is pretty sexy. I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, I'm a big fan of that explorer. I think there's a lot yeah, of people. Yeah, it has a little giddy up in it. Oh, would you look so at that? So what was the deal with the uh, yellow car? Oh, uh, I just because of his help with that off-duty cop and all that, I, I let him off with a verbal warning. But I said, <laughs> but I tell you, if I get another reporter, I see him doing stupid shit again. He's going to be getting a ticket or the car taken off him. Either one. Yep, that seems fair. Yeah. I thought so as well, but um, Toe's here so we'll just tow this bus. Oh wow, poof, away I went. Um, the RO for that Tampa was a Danny Black though, so if you run into somebody with that name driving stupidly then that's him. Well, yeah, we were looking for a down the guy that ran from us a few minutes ago, and uh, he was on my ass as I was searching for him. And then we locked down the road. Then he kept driving by. So it's weird that a guy that was being like that then helped you. But hey, good for him, I guess. Yeah, I guess we'll find out another bit if he does anything wrong. <laughs> you never know around yeah, here. Yeah, we'll probably see him again. <laughs> exactly. All right, guys, I'm gonna open back up this road. Thanks for your help, guys. All right. Yep, stay safe. Shut the door. Three twenty county. Three twenty, go ahead. Be advised, call number 4282 is going to be 1098. 108, all units will be back, clear back 108. 104320, sure, Alright guys, we're going to be 108 off of that. That was a good scenario, I enjoyed that. And we'll clear off. Uh, I guess it's a, the aliens are out tonight, and now you have green hair. <laughs> nice. Well, this guy's driving around like a piece of junk, and he's very aggressively driving, guys. I'm assuming this is desync, and he's... Nope, he is still here. Okay. County 320. 320. 1050 West Route 68 on a two door black. Uh, looks like a sedan. Nearest postal is going to be 946. If you can roll me one additional unit. Hi, sir. Deputy Hyatt with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. How are you tonight, sir? What's their key to um, Fantastic. How are you? Alright, so you, um, the reason for the stop is you're aggressive driving, and there's been a couple of um, calls to 911 about a black car matching this description, recklessly driving around Sandy Shores. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, sir? Uh, not 
the slightest clue. All right. Now you got your license, registration, proof of insurance on you, sir? I do. Do you want to see it? I sure do, but I'm gathering your name is Derek Cruz. How did you know that? Because I had a traffic stop with you earlier today. I think I've had one or two with you, to be honest. No, nonsense. Yeah. Alright, I'm still going to need to see your license, registration and proof of insurance, sir. Are you sure I was driving aggressively? Uh, yep. And you saw me back there on Panorama Drive and you hit the brakes because you were speeding. I, I wouldn't do such a thing. Alright, well, sir, license, registration, proof of insurance. Hey, there you go. Alright. Name's uh, Derek Cruz. Yeah, anything to drink tonight, Mr. Cruz? Nope. Well, I'm I'm, I'm smelling... H2O. Yeah, I'm smelling a bit more than H2O, H2O coming from your car, sir. Ah, uh, that might have been from the other night. Yeah. Alright. Uh-huh. Oh. That guy come from... Alright, Mr. Cruz, just hang out here. I'll be back with you, okay? Well, sir, where are you coming from tonight? Derek Cruz. Pretty sure we've there had a traffic go. stop or two with him. No, no, See? What is that? Uh, where are you coming from tonight? No, oh, you know, just... License is valid. H, so Henry Young too. Cool. James, cool. Paul, uh, Paul. Yeah. Robert wait, Thomas registered to him. Check? Nope. Like I said, H2O, but... I'm gonna ask Jonathan, is he a date okay. officer? Hey, Jonathan, can you just come here for a sec? Sit tight. Yeah. Hey, are you a date officer? Uh, date? No, as I see, yes. Okay. I'm gonna, I'll request a date then. I can, uh, car, I can hang car, out until they get here, and then if you want me to stick around while they do their thing, that's fine. If not, I'll, I'll just head. Oh no, you're good to hang out, dude. I'll just, I'll just call for a date, officer. County three twenty. All right, cool. Have we got any active date units online, sir? Confirm. Uh, nine one. Go ahead. Uh, attaching you to a 1050, which says 320, uh, requesting a date unit, postal is 946, just west of 946 on Route 68. Oh. Alright, looks like we have one coming. Cool. He'll be coming around on my... <laughs> Uh, you can sing, sir. Uh, driver, do you mind just stepping out of the vehicle, please? You're not under arrest. Um, you, what? You're not under arrest. Just, I just need you to step out of the vehicle, please, and just come and stand over on the side of the road with me where it's safe, okay? For what? Because I have reason to believe you're driving under the influence, sir, and it just makes it so much easier if we can just have a chat like men just over here on the side of the road. Uh, we chat like men right here, bud. I'm not going nowhere. I'll even shut my uh, car off. It, for you. it doesn't matter if you shut your car off, sir, but you're still gonna need to step out so we can have some have a bit of a talk, okay? This is crazy. No, nope, that's not crazy. And I feel better with you over here. So go ahead and step uh, out. There's two of you and one of me. I feel better right here. No, step out. Sir, please step out of the vehicle. Come on. Let's just make it easier. The sooner you step out, we can have a chat and then you can be on your way, dude. Just follow me, you don't want to walk between the cars. Somebody's been eating peppers. Just come over here, dude. Alright, Mr. Cruz, this is what ha this is what's happening, dude. Sure. You're you're slurring your words a little bit, you're walking around a little sloppy. I've requested a date unit, okay? So a date unit they come and they come and do drug and alcohol testing, okay? They're gonna have a bit of a talk with you, ask you some questions and get a breath sample from you, okay? Um, and then if it's all clear and you're all good, then you can I'm happy for you to get back in your car and you be on your way, okay? Mm-hmm. But until then, we're just going to wait for that unit to get here, okay? Alright. I'm going to smoke. Okay. Have you had anything to drink tonight? Like, how much have you had to drink? I know you've been drinking because I can smell it. Uh, H2O. I'm telling you. What terror. 
something good for you. Okay. You don't have any firearms or weapons or anything on you, sir? I have a taser. I can't have firearms. I'm a felon. Um, a taser is kind of a firearm, sir. It shoots a projectile, which is classed as a firearm, sir, which means I can actually arrest you now for possession of a firearm by a felon. This isn't going so good for him. Uh, are you really going to do that? Um, I've had multiple interactions with officers that didn't do anything about me having a taser. I said I can arrest you for it. I didn't say I was going to, okay? Whereabouts is the taser? It's right here on my right side, right behind my front pocket. Alright, well I'm going to take that off you just for the safety of the traffic stop, okay? Yep. Sure. Okay. Somebody's got, I mean, you gotta have some sort of protection around here. Well, unfortunately, sir, that's for the people who do the correct thing and don't have previous felony records, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to fuck you over, I'm not trying to stuff up your day or anything, but it's unfortunately the law. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, if that's the case, then I, I can just get firearms from here on out. Well, sir, if you get firearms, then... It's non-lethal. Well, it still shoots a projectile, which is still classified as a firearm. Um, you can look up the penal code, sir, but if you were to get a firearm and it wasn't a taser, I'm being pretty genuine and pretty nice and generous here about the whole taser situation. You get a firearm and I will arrest you, okay? So let's just, let's just keep it, you know, subtle and whatnot and no more projectile shooting weapons, okay? Because it is illegal for a guy with your record, okay? Alright, just hang out here, I'm going to get an ETA on that officer, okay? Sure. 320-901. County 320. 320. Is there an ETA on that unit? 901. Good. Do you have any do you have an ETA? Yeah, sir, we advise. I apologize for my delayed response. I'm responding through Metro. Copy. 320, copy. Alright, our unit's coming from the city. He should be here shortly. Sure thing. Cool. Alright, let's go and sit his taser on the hood of the car. I mean, I might give it back to him. So you've been having a good night, Mr. Cruz? Yeah, it's been a great night. Yeah. I've been stopped a couple times for my, for my lead foot, but... No, it's been pretty good. Yeah. Been pretty cool. That you have. I'm, I'm, but um, I'm glad that you're not speeding this time. Just, just DUI, I guess. I've been trying to keep that thing under the speed limit. What sort of car is it, sir? We'll just try and create conversation so he doesn't take off or feel the need to take off or anything yeah, like that. Sentinel. Oh, nice. Set you back a bit of money, I'd imagine. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty pricey. But she's fast. And I like the slick, boxy look of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it looks okay. It's not my kind of car, but um, that's what makes us all unique, I guess. We all like different things, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. I have an old Mustang, too. I haven't brought that out in a while. Oh yes, I have an old Mustang too. I like that car. I like it a lot. Really good for sliding around corners. Well, I hope you mean sliding around the corners on the racetrack, Mr. Cruz. Absolutely. Yeah. Would I say anything else? Exactly. Good to hear. Oh god, that screech from the tires sounds Don't amazing. Don't put anybody in unnecessary danger now, do we? Exactly. So, how many H2O bottles of water would you say you've drank in today, sir? Oh, 
you know. Five. Five. Six. Six. Maybe nine. You've had about nine bottles of water today, is that correct? Yep. Yeah. I'd say nine and a half to be on the safe side. Oh, wow. You gotta get your daily water intake. You yeah. I, mean? I Like this, this fella right here. He could use it. Could he? Sure. Everybody could use some water. He's, he's not saying much. I don't think he has much of a, a sense of humor. He might be just a yeah. quiet person. Yeah. Could be. Uh, if, uh, if everything checks out the way I'm hoping it does, I have a present for you, Stan. Me? Yep. I also have a present for this deputy. No. Nope. Something tells me he's going to run off nope. as soon as possible. No. Nope. I hope so. it's not one of them damn peppers I've been smelling since you walked up. Yeah, if it's one of them peppers, he can have it shoved right back where he don't want it. Yeah, I don't do peppers. I don't like oh, peppers. you don't? Oh, that's nope. unfortunate. Yeah. I hope you. Uh, I hope you consume lots of water when you're eating those peppers. A lot of H2O. Oh yeah. Boys. God, where's this I, uh, Eunice? I consume water by the gallon. So. My legs are pretty tired. Can I go sit in the car? No, but you can go and sit beside your car or lean on your car. That's up to you. No. I want to sit in the car, though. No. Yeah, I don't want you to get back in the car, though, sir. I'm not going nowhere. Okay, with 13, I'll be back tonight. Well, it sounds like the unit's here anyway, so you won't have to sit down at all. Perfect. Perfect. Copy, uh, WD-40, showing you back, uh, tonight, 0307. Alright. Now, he's gonna run some tests on you, on you, okay? I believe this is Trooper Paul, okay, Drew? Cruz, sorry, Mr. Cruz. That'd be, uh, mm -hmm. Alright, Paul, this guy has a strong scent of alcohol on him. He was slurring his words, driving a little bit all over the road. There's been a couple of calls about him in Sandy driving recklessly and stuff. That was the reason for the stop tonight. He also claims to be on the safe side. He's had about nine and a half bottles of H2O. H2O. Okay. Water. All right, sir. My name is uh, Trooper Flory with the San Andreas Highway Patrol Day Task Force. I'm digging the tie. Digging the Thank tie. You. I like. Uh, what's very professional. I appreciate that, sir. I like the fact that you wear sunglasses at night. Um, <laughs> What's okay. going to happen, sir, is uh, I'm going to conduct some field sobriety tests with you. It's going to allow me to judge your uh, ability to operate a motor vehicle on the roadway. That being said, I need your verbal confirmation that you uh, are willing and able to cooperate with... 320, was that traffic for me? I'm about to administer to you. Uh, affirm, sir. Wait. I'm just getting a status check if dates on scene. So what you're saying... Copy, 901 is 1097. We're just continuing with our investigation at this time. Yeah, sure. It's, it's absolutely an option, sir. But understand that if, uh, if you refuse the option to submit to any of my FSTs, I will suspend your license for a year and your car will be impounded. But I get to go home. I mean, from what I understand, what I know about the law, yes, you can refuse this test, but understand, too, that you're going to, uh, get your license. Is it really worth getting his license so, suspended? I don't I know. I refuse. You take my license, and you take the, this car, but I go home, and I don't have to deal with the yeah. pepper guy over there. Really? Eventually. Eventually. You eventually, you can go home. No, no, no. Right now. Nah, let's just do the test. Who am I? You're yanking your leg there, bud. Mr. Professional Guy himself. <laughs> Alright, well, I appreciate it, sir. You saved me a lot of time and a lot of paperwork doing things that way. So, what's going to happen, sir, uh, is I'm going to have you say your ABCs. I want you to start from A, and I want you to the P, and stop at P, okay? Mm hmm. Alright, whenever you're ready. A, P. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Well, he did say he started A and ended P, I guess. From A, the letters in between, up to P. Alphabet. Say, say it again? I'm sorry. Okay, I need you to say A, B, C, D, all the way through to P. I need you to say all your... Right. Are you ready? Yes. A, B, C, D, all the way through P. Oh, okay, God. sir. I understand that, you know, being a smart ass will not get you through this test, okay, and will end up in you going I to jail. Said I mean, I... what you told me to say. Okay, sir, I'm asking you to say your ABCs, but I want you to start from A and end at P. So, as you would say your ABCs, okay, yeah. every single letter from A through P. Do you understand those instructions? I hope he does. Yeah. <laughs> Recite the alphabet, starting from the yes. letter A. And ending right. with the letter R. P. 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 Yes, sir. Ending with the letter P. Oh, oh my god. god. You're ready. <laughs> okay. A. Mm -hmm. B. C. D. E. F. G. Uh, H. J. K. L. M. N. O. P. Okay. Okay, sir. Good? Did I do good? Hey man, why you got that pepper? I want you to Explorer looks good. Count down from twenty. All the way from twenty to zero. I can't. Twenty to zero, he can't. Okay, can you count down from ten to zero? Yep. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Can't forget the zero. I know you guys like to get people on that. <laughs> The last thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and administer a portable breath test. And what that allows me to judge is the amount of uh, breath alcohol content in your system, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. So when I tell you to blow, I want you to blow, and then I will tell you to stop when I want you to stop blowing, okay? Sure. All right. On three. One, two, three. Blow, 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 and stop. Okay. See what this result comes back to, guys. Hmm. That's interesting. So, I get to go home now, right, fellas? Uh, well, no, sir. I think first thing we're going to do is I'm going to get you to a trip down to the hospital. Um, and then these deputies are going to go from there. Can you address on one? Trip to the hospital for what? Is Metsu one still tonight? Negative, sir. Okay, fine. Example. Okay, sir, you have an excessively high. Uh,. What's it say? Alcohol content. Uh, 0. 0.173. It's only the a 1.7. Limit... Yeah, the legal limit is 0. 0.08, sir. Oh, man. That damn water, it'll get you every time. I think you had a bit All more right, than so water, sir. Hang out with this, de the, this deputy over here. I want to talk to this uh, deputy over here. Hey, uh, Tom, if you want to come talk to me for a second. A bit more than I don't want anything to do with that pepper, bud. Oh, me either. Alright, yeah, I'm glad you came down then because, yeah, he reeked of alcohol when I stopped him and then there was a couple of calls already yeah, I... about him driving around recklessly. I, uh, I smell it too. Um, he very well, uh, in, in my professional uh, opinion and experience, is under the influence of uh, alcohol for sure. Um, he messed up his ABCs, which I asked him to do, and his uh, breath alcohol contents of 0.173, so he's definitely DUI. So, uh, you definitely have DUI charges on him if that's what you're, uh, looking to do here. Yeah, I mean, it's my third or fourth stop with him all up tonight. I've already pulled him over two or so times for speeding, and now he's just... He was speeding down there. I didn't clock him, but he saw me and slammed on his brakes, and then he was just... I don't know, he just driving... Not... I wouldn't say... I don't know if I'd say aggressively, but just weirdly and suspiciously, and then... He's just slurring his words, he's stumbling around, he's, he needs to go. It's, I think it's his last chance with me today. Alright, well, I, I agree. I agree, and uh, I'm glad I could help you out, and if you need anything else from me, or uh, if there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. 
Alright, well I'll go ahead and put him in cuffs, we'll see how this goes, I guess. There's an effort oh. just to get him out of the car. Alright, Mr. Cruz, why don't you go ahead and put that cigarette cigarette out, please, sir? Damn, just lit this thing. Alright. You guys got impeccable time. Go ahead and face Deputy Jonathan that's in front of me. What? Go ahead and face oh. Deputy, that's it. At this time you are being placed under arrest for DUI, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do may and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand your rights as I've read them to you tonight, sir? Um, sure. Alright. Have you got anything on your body at all, other than the taser that I've already taken off you that's going to stick, poke or sharp, that may hurt me at all? Stuff that up. I have a, a water bottle in my front right pocket. It's got a little bit of whiskey in it. Okay. But. But what? But that's it. You have a you have one whiskey on you, sir. I'm finding a whiskey bottle. Is there anything in your vehicle that shouldn't be that there be there that we need to know about, sir? Nope. At all? There's nothing in the trunk. Nope. Nope. All right, that so vehicle is going to be searched, right and it's also going to be towed, okay, to the what impound, is? okay? Sure. All right. Go ahead and follow me, Mr. Cruz. Go ahead and take a step in the back, in the other side, and watch your head. County triple nine. Go ahead and show me uh, ten seconds. All right, I'm gonna clear off, boys. All right, thanks, Paul. Hey, my pleasure, Tom. Are you right to call for a tow truck? Yep, tow truck. You want to You'll take care of this with a tow. Yeah, I can take care of it if you oh, want to take care of him. Oh! Oh my gosh! Maybe not on his screen, I guess. Um, uh, hey, just have a good rest of your yeah, if you don't mind dealing with this, I'll take him down a booking. Yeah, I'll take yeah, care of this everyone. Uh, considering I'm seeing crap like You'll be coming whatever just happened night. over there. Yep. Um, I'm getting off for the night. Alright, have a good night, dude. Yep, you too. Stay Damn. safe. Lights are bright. Lights are bright. This guy's intoxicated as hell. Alright guys, we got him 1015, we're gonna take him down to booking, and I'll talk to you guys once we get there. Yeah. Alright guys, we're just arriving here, oh no, 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 don't do that, step out of the vehicle sir. Oh yeah, dirty fuck. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be county, so he's, he's got Okay, uh, well uh, that's uh, just great. Go ahead and follow me. Fuck. I tried telling you. Yep. Uh, well, I thought you would hold it in. Obviously not. Go ahead and stand in front of that desk. Could have hurried up. Sure. All right, so just hang out here while I do your arrest report, okay? No, no problem. Sandy Shores, BCSO, add to charges, we're going to go with driving, under the influence, so that is, so, does it not tell you what charge, like what? Oh, it's a misdemeanor one. Okay, so it's twenty thousand dollars. I'm just gonna get him for that. He's he's drunk anyway. All right, Mr. Cruz. At at this time, your bail is twenty thousand dollars, or you can be incarcerated. What would you like to do? Are you there, Mr. Cruz? He's unresponsive. This is good. Mr. Cruz, can you hear me, sir? Sure, yeah. Okay. okay now. At this uh, time, you have a $20,000 bail, or you can um, be incarcerated. What would you like to do? I'm not going to charge you for the, the taser or anything, or the reckless driving, or 
anything like the 911 call originally stated. I'm just going to get you for the DUI, okay? So what do you want to do? Um, I don't have 20,000. Okay. Alright, the booking officer is going to take you away once I take these cuffs off you, okay? Uh, cuff. Alright, just hang out here. She's going to come and take you in one sec. Derek, Derek, Derek. Where's his name? 120. So we'll go jail. 1, 120. We'll go for 100 seconds. Boom chakalaka and just like that. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of OCRP. I really enjoyed that scenario. I love a good DUI and stuff like that. That was a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you next time.